BC's Dr. Bonnie Henry has brought the hammer down on nightclubs and banquet halls. They've been ordered to close immediately. There were 429 new cases of COVID-19 in the province over the long weekend. Sarah Galashin joins me now from Coquitlam, BC. Sarah, this is an unusual move for Dr. Henry. It certainly is, Carol. Uh, a last resort is what she called it. Uh, she did call the measures that were taken back in March uh, draconian. She said there were negative impacts because of them. But at the same time, she also indicated that these restrictions she's put in place, uh, they are not all that can be done. There's a spectrum of restrictions and things that can be, can be considered in the event that we don't turn or correct the direction that BC's numbers are taking. That 429, that is, as you say, spread out over a number of days, but it's still a very high number. This is how Dr. Body Henry uh, defended her decision to, to put these closures in place. So yes, you know, these are some measures that we know are high risk environments that I was hopeful would come down with the things that we had done before, but they haven't. And so now we need to take more action. And we have uh, young people coming back for university, even though many of the classes are virtual. But we're seeing them as well, um, wanting to get together, wanting it to be like it was before. So yes, I do think these are necessary actions right now. It's going to be a challenging time for those businesses. And I think we need to all start thinking, rethinking about what we need to do to get us through the next few months. So that order covers the closure of standalone banquet halls, of nightclubs, liquor sales have to stop at 10 p.m. and those establishments have to be closed by 11 p.m. Music and background sound has to be lowered to a conversation level. And she says this is all designed to try and take away what she's calling late night temptation. Carol? The official first day of school in B.C. is Thursday, but already there's a confirmed case of coronavirus involving students. Right. Uh, this is at a private school in West Vancouver. That private school is Mulgrave School. It started classes back on August 20th, so they're well underway here. Um, the students affected by this uh, confirmed case of coronavirus are in grade 9, and the head of the school, John Ray, he explained the situation in a public statement. I want to read you part of it. It reads that the exposure involves grade 9 students and occurred while they were away from campus for an off-site day camp experience. Camp activities took place outdoors within learning groups and involved physical distancing, which helped to limit the risk to members of the Mulgrave community. Uh, so the students affected by this uh, are at home under quarantine. The school continuing to operate uh, under the guidance of the, the health authority here in Vancouver. They were told that the, the cleaning protocols in the school that they have in place, they suffice and that the school, and because this happened off uh, off of the campus, they are able to keep the school uh, going as as is usual. Um, what's interesting here, uh, Bonnie Henry said that she wasn't aware of this this case, but certainly parents who are getting ready to send their children back to schools, albeit in public schools, are watching the case at Mulgrave probably pretty closely because it does provide an example of what uh, could be down the line if, when uh, COVID-19 cases are confirmed uh, in, in the various schools. So there are a lot of questions about how it will all be handled, and this is providing some example. Carol? Sarah, thank you.